Example, relative risk can be used in placebo-controlled, randomized, double-blind clinical trials as a measure of causation. So can the difference between two proportions, but that's another video. Table 1 presents a hypothetical example where relative risk could be used as a measure of causation. Take a moment to look at this table and see if you can calculate relative risk from the definition. Pause the video if necessary. Now notice here that the numerator is not the probability of disease given exposure, but rather the probability of improvement given drug administration. In this case, the exposure variable is actually a treatment variable, whether the patient is exposed to a drug or a placebo. And we're not looking at a disease, but rather we're looking at improvement. But mathematically, this is modeled exactly the same way, and this is a very common application of relative risk. So here, 52, this is where the 52 comes from, of these 166 patients who were given the drug actually improved. And the denominator is because 59 of these 204 patients who were actually given the placebo improved. And so when you divide fractions, you invert and multiply. And if you do this on the calculator and round off, you will get 1.08 as the relative risk estimate. Remarks. One, the numerator could be correctly read as the probability of randomly selecting a study participant who improved given drug assignment. Two, since probability predicts the future, it is incorrect to read the numerator as the probability that a study participant improved given drug assignment. This reading is like saying the probability that it rained yesterday was 4%, and, and that would be ridiculous. Three, However, if you hear a researcher say the probability of improvement given drug assignment was 52 divided by 166, he or she is using linguistic short speak for the probability estimate of improvement given drug assignment was observed to be 52 divided by 166. Four. In statistical inference, we interpret past data through the lens of probability to refine scientific models whose purposes are to explain observable phenomena and ultimately to use these models to predict the future. Five, accordingly, some statisticians will insist that relative risk point estimates, such as this one, be written with a hat above the relative risk symbol as relative risk hat equals 1.08. But this can be difficult to typeset, so the hat is often left off of the point estimate symbol as above here. Some statisticians would insist that a hat be placed above this. Six, but please remember that unless the relative risk symbol is part of a statistical hypothesis, such as the null hypothesis that relative risk is equal to one, then you can rest assured knowing that the symbol relative risk is a point estimate and not a true or hypothesized value even if no hat has been given. Seven, this is because mathematics and statistics are contextual languages. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.